Oh Jesus, this is loud. Hey there, well, it's not for me. Hey there, everyone. This is Elkow who play Kirby Return somewhere. And we're 11% done. Check it out, World 2 just grew right here on the star. You get a little path, so you can go like, whoosh. But you cannot go directly to the side. You have to take the side path here. That's kind of funny. It's the Raisin Ruins. There are more gears here than there ever were before anywhere else in the one previous world I went into. Whoa, that's right. Big star, big key. Door opens and immediately I head in this direction where there's nothing. All right. I'm digging that banjo. I don't know, there's just something about it that is striking a chord. Welcome to Santa. Look at that cat! Yo, kitty! Ooh, whip, that's new. Yo, okay. So, get mad, get mad. Multidirectional, alright. Alright, let's learn about whip. Hang on to your hat! Put on on a snap! Uh, pull in these and items towards you. Seal and strike, uh, jump strike, uh, dash, yeah. Ooh, up and down, okay, and you got a whip grab- Oh jeez, there is a lot going on. Oh, well, okay, it's like a stance though, so... What you can do that, you can do like- There you go, okay, the timing is specific. Got it. And you can hold it. Um, hold it. But then that lets you do special things. So those are the powers of a cat! Get out of here, Wildy! Burger time! Check out that big mouth, I didn't even get that. Scarfy, not afraid of you. Fireball guy, no one cares about you. Then I can do that if I want. I can go down here if I want, like the arrows, like very clearly saying, hey, go to the side. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go where I want. Okay, so it's... There we go. Do you understand the principle of whip? Reach out between your guys. Sweet, can you destroy- oh, you can destroy the ant lion? I didn't think that would work. There's just something about it. Alright. Oh, that poor Scarfy. Like, I don't know, like, Scarfies are supposed to be very scary, but, like, just seeing it, just getting manhandled by the whip in me like that is just, I don't know, it makes me feel bad about it. Whoa, oh, wait, I, I kind of let that happen, I feel like. Oh, you know what? There we go. I'm gonna run now, and I can just get this hot dog, but not the star. The star would need a whip, which I don't have. Check out, it's a floating tomato guy! Floating there, looking smart. Check it out, it's Fireball. I know my games. There we go. You get a Fireball. Woo. In the big. <laughs> Is there not a, something that I thought it would be like a thing that flops out of that cactus? But there was not a check the other big rock. Oh, I don't know. Do you think that's something I can swallow? I feel like I need that. Okay, pig. You taste delicious. Okay, that is not... I guess it's too embedded. And, oh, it's a little pig rider, though. Wild these hound fun. All right. I need fireball because I'm going to light this fuse up. There we go. Lit fuse and big news. I'm gonna hide into this fork. It's called a cannon. Different things. Uh, here we go to the sky. Uh, check it out. We're somewhere. Check it out. It's a gear next to the fortress. Uh, like some massive room. Just kind of chill. Like, look at this scene. Just kind of here. You know? Looks super rat. There's a watermelon balance. A sand melon balance the top. That's that don't make no sense to me. All right. So I don't know what you're hiding here. But I want in, so I'm okay. An opportunity to get needle of all things and a hot dog. Fans of hot dogs will love this hot dog. Okay, so that is a cactus that is in bloom. Waddle D, waddle zoned. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then a rock is gonna. Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna jump over him. Sweeper, watch out! A rock is coming. Guys, y'all are gonna get hurt. What's that? Oh, it's a bun? It's pretty fun. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, well, I just went through you. Hope you don't mind. Oh, shoot, and then, okay, that went not good, but that's okay, because Rock's gonna fall here. And check it out, get yourself a meal. But I did lose melon bread. That's fine. 
I don't need melon on my bread. I guess I'm just gonna let it soar in front of me. And then this one's gonna be behind me. That's right. Between a rock and a rock lies a Kirby. Oh, check it out. I solved the puzzle. The puzzle is go here. That was the puzzle. <laughs> Can't believe I solved it. Whoa, I'm electrified in the sand. Alright, see, look at that. They put a star up there to kind of get your attention. And then uh, you dodge the rock that way. Those mushrooms, they're just now dead. You know, it's hard to survive in Dreamland. There's just like stuff happening, and you see the effect on its residents all the time. There's just getting slain here and there like it's, it's a nightmare out there all right pig versus candy i mean i think the outcome was pretty obvious myself i don't know it really never was going to be much of a contest i i skipped a few of these check it out eat a meal even milk milk can be part of a meal but it's not a meal of its own i'm still candy not anymore Ooh, umbrella parasol Parasol. Whoa, check out my parasol. Whoa, that dive kick, though. Okay, all right, let's learn about parasol. Uh-huh. That's right, circus throw. Uh, all right, so hold to shield, okay. Uh-huh. Parasol drill, parasol twirl, parasol dive, circus throw. Okay, so next to foe, okay. Parasol drift. Underwater, you got a parasol drill that's underwater. Fantastic. Love Tameyu, so... Yeah, that's right! Uh, oh, jeez. Oh. The poor little guy. He never had a chance. Now I'm slowly drifting into place. Then I can do that. Whoa there, buddy! Okay, I completely misread situation. See, like, I don't know, like, I feel kind of like I don't want to do things because I'm afraid. Uh, so I feel like my computer has been trying to do something here. Like, I can kind of feel it in a little bit. Thing seems to have settled down. Well, why would I want to replace my parasol, huh? You just went to great trouble teaching me all about it. Look at that strut. Oh, wait a second. Okay, no, it's bonkers. I was like, is this gonna be like a, a yog ball? Like, outside of the... His uh, area of preference, but no, it's bonkers. The monkey is a very polygonal little ape here. The ape has escaped into my gullet! Uh, check out that sweet scarf. Whoa! Okay, so what I do to do that is just holding it. That massive arrow really commands my attention. Wield the hammer of kings! Uh, that's right, light it on fire, got the hammer flip, uh, as one does. Uh, giant swing, ultra giant swing, hammer flip, dash and what? Oh, that is so cool. If you want to get rid of it, you can just like actually get rid of it. That's the giant hammer swing, ultra, whatever. Well, what, man, I just want a banana. Now I'm gonna get grape. Woohoo. All right, so do you have solved? Okay, there you go. It's just, yeah, no, a hammer. A hammer good. Use hammer to break hammer things. Wow. Hammer flip! <laughs> I don't know why that is so satisfying, but it is. And then this thing just kind of lets go. When they say hold a button, you barely have to hold it at all. It's pretty fun. All right, here we go! Let's go to a construction site and make fun of deers. I mean, I don't know why a deer would be there in the first place. That was a very middling attempt. I'm still not sure I understand the timing of the bonus game, in spite of it happening after every single level. It's just, I don't know, man. Here we go. Oh, what? Oh, and you just tell me! 15 years you collect a lot of door in the Ninja Dojo sub game! Hooray! Alright, but hey, stage two. Oh, it's a bigger stage. There are four gears in it. Is, is that true? Is that how the math? Well, yeah, I mean, maybe it just means there's a, an alternate universe in it. That is true. Check out Sleepy Boy. I just knocked you. And now here there's water. Here in the desert. Yeah, it's called an oasis. There's water everywhere if you look for it. 
Well, check it out. There's a water dragon. Well, now it's a water pancake. And now I'm just gonna swing and destroy the world around me. Oh, you're trying to nap. Well, nap in hell. That's what I have to say to you. Oh, little plant was just kind of standing there doing his best to live. Well, you just dropped the soda. Look at that swimming blobbin. That is fun. All right. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's clearly a cave right there, though. Like, you know, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want that. I want to keep that. The hammer's good. You know, it's big. It gives you protection from heights. And uh, you get to do flips. So this is not, you know, the level of prize I was expecting from this little hidden cave. But I'll take it in neat ways. I just hit you in the eye for no reason. Like, you're there, I guess. That's my reason. Oh, it's a classic stone! I am... Stone is... Okay, well, stone is, like, right there. So I guess we're learning about stone! There you go, that's stone. Whoa, I used stone. Is that all? Is stone just stone? Crush things to bit. Ooh, uppercut. Okay, okay, there's more. Dash turbo stone and can block. Uh-huh, heavy smash if you take the time to press down. Stone uppercut, slope slide. <laughs> big hand, uh, but here we're doing big slide. Everyone follow us for the ride. If you want, you don't want oh, that fish needs some water. Here, let me help you out. Uh, that's called helping. All right, that guy's not gonna get any air. So, okay, if you press down, there you go. You you kind of put in some oomph. You don't just let gravity do all the work. Well, that's a, literally a hand. It's a big fist. Uh, sliding knuckle. Wait a second. There's clearly something going on here. I'm gonna smash this post. Uh, yeah, destroy the world. A little bit. Just a little bit. Slight destruction of the world, and then you can see everything around you. There you go. Oh, shoo! <laughs> that was a little last second. I'm pretty happy about how that turned out. So for the sake of knowledge, then, if I go back in, it would have reset itself. So you know what, that's good. That's good to know. It's the kind of thing you want to know in advance. Gordo, I'm not afraid of you and big guy either. Oh, uh, now they're flashing till they die. I hope that before I die, I get the flash a lot. All right, well, now I'm not. Okay, so we are playing Kirby 3. All right, see, it's only... S no, this is more like Kirby, uh... Whoa, on the NES. Where only certain powers work. Well, what? But you can poof? The water poofing is strong enough. That, I wouldn't have thought about that, you know? Gonna be real. All right, you clearly want to give me something. And now you get to water. Whoops, I want to press up, but, you know... <laughs> that's that's weird. Uh, all right, let's learn about water. The water wizards. Uh, so we got wave. We got surf. We got wave surf. Fantastic. Geyser. Found hover. Water crown. Uh, rainbow rain. There's a lot of charge up and down. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, that's sir. I jumped there. If I had not jumped, I would have gone the one up. I don't. I one ups are kind of a bad prize for me because they reset after everything, right? There we go. A little water spout. All right. So it's not the strongest thing in the universe, but it's there. It exists. Hey, buddy. Oh, whoop. All right. Look at that, though. You can do that in this story. So you got like big bubble, like big old bubble blast holes. There we go. That's words I've used. It. Okay. This is kind of neat, though. Then you come back up, and you're like, hey, little buddy, do you want to die, or do you want pastrami? I don't know what one is better than the other, but because I got water, I can go down here. So, this is a puzzle, where if you do that, you can use your eyeballs to see it's attached to that, and the other one is attached to releasing the enemies. It's, it's not a very good puzzle. But it's there, okay. I, like, I still, I opened it up just to show, but yeah, it's, okay. you know it's World War. Don't freak out, okay? Okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine to find. Define yourself! Wow, yeah, wow. whoa! 
So there's where the power of water lies. It's that crazy, like, whoa, close the camera there, Kirby. We're going over there! We're done with this area in particular. We're now going miles away. Hold on the lever, and it pulls down the switch, and the door goes away. Oh, this is a boss. Okay, well, I can turn off, like, wait a second, can I destroy these? Like, these have the marks of star. Do I need, like, super water? Is that a thing? Okay, I guess they're just marked with stars as a form of decoration, maybe? Alright, well, welcome to the fire zone. Uh, uh, boiling water, trouble double, and all that. Oh, super beam. We're going to super beam, huh? Flare beam! Okay. What am I doing here? Oh, that's fun. Oh, that is fun. Okay. The destructive force of creation. And apparently these have their own instruction. Flare beam. Uh-huh. Now that's power. Oh, and I can disengage by pressing Joan. Whoa. Well, see, now I gotta go back, though. Like, earlier in the level, where there's more star structures to potentially destroy. Like here. Come forth the power of God! Then I can press disengage, and it goes away. Look at that, and you get all these stars as rewards. It's great. Disrupt the forces of the hey, that's a blue. Alright, it's not what I want. I want the portal. Because every time we've had a super ability, there was an associated portal. Don't think I haven't noticed. But I guess it's uh later in the level instead of back in the level. Alright, fair enough. That guy is still flashing, he's still happy to be here. I understand his feelings of hopes and madness. So look at that. See, you gotta kinda go like, oh shoot, I think you're supposed to like... Okay, so... If I want... Well, I mean... So you have to destroy... I thought you had to avoid destroying the things. I completely mistook the purpose of what was presented to me there. So, Hey! Uh, star power. No, I've noticed the trend uh, with, uh... There we go. I've noticed that trend with, uh, levels with four gears. Uh, it's because they still want to have high three things, so, you know. The Yagval gives away two, and they can't change that rule now. That would be silly. Hey, buddy! That's right. Oh, I love the long-tailed jester hat, though. That looks really rad. Like, that just looks, it's a cool look, I don't know. All right, welcome to water. Here we go. This is a water level, all right? There's fish. Watch out for fish. Is this water cubes? Those things happen, you know? All right, so, uh, okay. Well, I thought I was something down there, but maybe it's just an alternate path. Cause water cubes will show you the way and I'm gonna smack my face into you. Oh man, yeah, big fish here, just biggest fish that the world has ever encountered in Cincinnati. There's not a lot of fish in Cincinnati, so it's not that impressive. But here you can take the upper path. Yeah, no, that fish. There's a banana. It was a banana. I could have used that banana, honestly. You no, know, my health? Not doing the best it ever has. Alright, just gather everything and then let it loose! I love how it physically slows down. It's kind of neat. Then you can go like over here and have a hot dog. Alright, there's probably something good in there. Maybe! But the death wall was kind of there too. Ah, the choice between parasol and whip! It's like today's theme or something. That's pretty good. Oh, there's gonna be water though, huh? But only on the side. Just don't get on the side. Ooh, Spear Doomer. I ain't afraid of your doom. I say, missing entirely. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, again. Oh shoot, you're gonna fireball or something. Yeah, there you go. I don't think I didn't notice. Woohoo! This is a very hard attack to use. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, no, yep. Alright, well, whoa, whoa, okay. My computer again is going like beep, beep, beep. It has stopped. Oh! Whoa, jeez. Don't just leave stuff on the ground, though. Like a little pumpkin ball. Alright, so we're just, oh, oh, you're basically dead. You are dead! That is so cool. Like, I don't know. I feel like the Yagvals have served as incredible... 
punching bags for testing out powers more than anything. Uh, probably not the intent. Like, that's extremely diminutive of the hard effort they make to being powerful nasties, I'm sure. But that's the vibe I've been having. I'm sorry. I know it's a bit mean. Perhaps for chance. A bit better than last time. I mean, it doesn't mean much, but... Look at that dance, though. Oh. Look at that pose. It's saucy, Kirby. Alright, you know what? This might be stretching it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to try to make... Oh. You know what? I think that means next time we're gonna check Ninja Zone and... Copy room. Oh, wait. Is it... Is it just a room where we can get it? Well, you know what? That's how we'll start next time. Next time, we'll start in the ship and uh, we'll, we'll see what all that's about, you know? So if it's something short, then we can just move on. If it's not, well, we won't be surprised by it. Sounds great! I should not have cut video. Uh, because the little wooden sign there appeared. Like, I shouldn't cut it. Because I, I didn't expect that once I quit game, the little sign there on the side would open up, then Ninja Doge Sub Games down with Vilk and you hit all the targets. I didn't think that would happen. It just, it, just ha it just showed up. Okay, so don't cut video until I'm back here, it turns out. An important lesson has been learned.